like a little delta there. And as the tires start to squeal, it's just that the delta is getting greater. So you have an X6, which is an interesting car because on the rear of that car, it's got what's called torque vectoring. And torque vectoring is, you know how a tank turns? Where like one side turns fast and the other side turns slow? And therefore it turns, so it rotates around its axis. So your car, instead of just using the front wheels to turn, the rear tires are actually able to help you turn the wheel. So in a corner like this one, when you turn the wheel, it starts to slow down the right side tire and speed up the left side tire. And if, so if you're pushing the gas pedal, the outside tire will get more of the thrust. If you're letting go of the gas pedal, the inside tire will get more of the engine drag. So right now in, in my car, I'm not really able to use the back axle to help me make the turn unless I push it so hard that the back end slides, the tires break traction and slide. So the interesting thing about your car is that if you know how to use that system when you're driving, like in your car, you push the gas pedal during the turn, it'll actually make the car turn sharper. So it's a completely different driving style, similar to what we were saying about like, you know, your uh, your motorcycle is a more advanced motorcycle. Well, your car is actually a more advanced car. Like, people think like, oh, it's just like a BMW X5, but it's just a little bit smaller and like sportier looking. But actually, your car has that system, which the X5 does not have. And only the X5M has that system. So when they turn the X5 into the X5M, they add the system in there. And so it's a, you know, it, what it basically does is makes a big car turn like a small car because it's not just the, the conventional physics and the mechanics of the car at work. So I find it to be like a really like fascinating system personally. That's interesting, I never knew that. I know, it's, unfortunately, like people own your car and people own many cars like it, they don't know about it. Because most people, when they're going around a turn, they just sort of like let go of the gas pedal and they're turning. And then when the road goes straight, they push the gas pedal again, right? But that's completely doing a disservice to this particular, um, this particular technology, right? Like you're not, you're not utilizing the technology. So the first time I tried it, I was on a test drive. started to make a squeaking in the front and I, I had read about it this is like 2005 or something like that and the I was going around a turn tight and the, the tires were going Rrr, and it felt like the front of the car was going to go into the oncoming lane and I just squeezed the gas pedal down to the floor and instead of the car you would expect in a situation like that the car will just go straight and go directly into oncoming traffic or a tree or something instead the tires got quiet and the, tar the car just turned and it was my first example of like what this, it's almost like having like a, um, a greater power, you know? But anyway, your car is um, a pretty amazing engineering achievement. And because it looks the way it does, people make fun of it because not everyone likes the, the appearance. Or, you know, some people are like, oh, I don't understand why it has to sit so high up and it doesn't have that much room compared to other SUVs. And I'm like, you don't understand. They didn't make this car to be an X5. They made this car to be an X6. It's not supposed to be roomy. It's supposed to be small. You know, it's supposed to be like sportier, handle better. But people are very quick to judge. You know, they just like look at it and they say, I have an opinion. It's not an informed opinion, but I have an opinion.